everybody and welcome back to my channel welcome back to all cool kids this is daisy collins of tsunami roads.net and i wanted to show you the lace crazy paving ribbon that i said i was going to make um i did in the very end stitch down this really thin um uh lace down the middle and i don't know if i like it but i did do it and we'll do something different this next time but this was a lot of fun to do using up all my lace bits that I can. Um, this is kind of in the style of my fabric crazy paving ribbon. Um, but it's all little lace bits. Hi, Carrie Ann. Welcome. And so, yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today. Sorry that my um, I haven't touched up my nail polish. I apologize ahead of time. <laughs> I forgot to buy nail polish remover, so that was great discovery. Okay, so to start, what we're gonna need is long strips of fabric. So I have a couple of those. I'm trying to pick them out from this pile. I don't want them to be too thick. Don't want them to be too thin. Probably about an inch is perfect. Yeah, I would say an inch is great. Okay, so that is good enough for now don't think I'll be doing more than this, but you never know. I did just have lunch, so maybe I will. <laughs> okay, so I have my um, pieces of fabric. What I also need is lace. So I have a bunch of lace here. Um, oh, there's a piece of fabric. I have a bunch of lace here, and I cut them up into different sized pieces, all sorts of lace all sorts of little pieces. <clears throat> Hi, Sherry. Welcome. Okay. <clears throat> so I am going to be using my sewing machine, and I use the Brothers Project Runway uh, Limited Edition CE1125PRW. And uh, this is over at my at Walmart. So you guys know I love Walmart. <laughs> Y'all know how much I love Walmart. So... Uh, you're going to need <clears throat> the strip of fabric. The fabric's really not going to show. It doesn't, doesn't really show. Sometimes, like right here, it showed up a little bit. Right here, a little bit. The fabric doesn't really show. So just so you guys know, don't uh, freak out too much about your fabric selection because you really can't see it. Okay. So now I have my little piece of fabric. Make sure it's on the right side. Not that it really matters. <laughs> okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two pieces of lace. And it doesn't matter which ones, but of course, we're still going to be picky about it, right? So... Just two little pieces of lace, and I am going to set my sewing machine to um, sew in a zigzag on the biggest setting. So the biggest width and the biggest uh, length I can get it to. So it'll be a nice zigzag stitch. You can also do different um, stitches. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I did, I did have new printables out in my shop. Um, they are the, they are botanicals, so they're full page botanicals. These are beige and black set. So they're like full size, perfect to be used as journal pages. My printer prints out borderless. So there's that. And then also I have a set of black and white botanicals. And of course, like I said, they're perfect to use in journal pages, folded in half. You can also print these out in different colors, of course. Okay, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> okay, back to the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so we have a zigzag stitch, biggest settings. And now we're going to put another set of lace. Again, like I said, I'm doing two pieces of lace. And I am kind of putting them on top of each other. So it's kind of on top of this one here. Okay. 
And that's pretty much it. Just two little pieces of lace that you sew onto this strip of fabric. This one's long here. It might be a little too skinny. Hi, Wendy. Welcome. Glad to see you. Of course, you could also put strips of fabric if you wanted to also. But this one's going to be all lace. And I'll show you guys in a minute what it looks like. So this is what the ribbon of lace looks like. And this could be perfect for a belly band or to decorate the border of your page with little, little teeny tiny bits of lace. And again, the fabric shows through just a little bit, but really not too much. And I think that looks adorable. It's kind of, it looks really dainty. Okay. So, to connect this to another piece, we have another strip of fabric here. One second, it had like, I guess I tried to sew this one or something. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this on top of here. And then we're going to add another little collage of fabric on top, I mean of lace on top. Just like that. Yeah. Frankenstrip. Yep. 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 Definitely. Has a lot of names you can call it. Okay. Let's keep it going. Very similar to that. Yes. Let's do this these two right here. Again, I'm just doing two pieces of lace. And there are different sizes. This looks too cute. It really does not matter what pieces of lace you put down in here. <laughs> that one's a little thick. Okay, so now next piece of fabric. And this goes by so fast. It's such a quick project. You'll have a lot in a little bit of time especially like i said just don't think about it too much just put down the pieces of lace however they fall they might be opposite or whatever it's okay is just looking wonderful. <coughs> I have a long strip already, so that's great. Oh, one second. My sock was hurting my foot. <laughs> Somehow I was like, ow, that hurts. It's like squeezing my foot. Okay. Okay. 
And I've been putting these strips really close to each other. So I'm not really leaving any gaps in between. They're all really like next to each other, next to on top of each other like that. <coughs> Hello, silent ghosty. Hello. Let's put this here. This piece. It's a big piece, but that's okay. That's okay. This one right here. Oh, Amanda, yeah. <laughs> What's up, girl? How is Texas? I don't want to be there right now. I can't imagine. Gross. The humidity. I can't. I couldn't. I'm already like, I'm already annoyed, Amanda. <laughs> it's not even humid here. And I'm already annoyed thinking about how it's humid in Texas. <laughs> Ugh, I can't. I can't deal. <laughs> I can't deal with it. I'm, not, I'm probably going to come over probably around the same time again. <laughs> Maybe even a couple weeks later because, ugh, I can't even. I don't know. Okay, so now we need to go to another piece here. Another piece of fabric and then more lace on top of that. Now, I said I was going to work with my lace in the bag, and of course, I just pulled it all out. <laughs> it's all out there now. I'm going to do this one on top. Okay, I need you to stay right there. Your sewing machine works much better if you talk to it. I don't know if you guys knew that, but that's a good tip. <laughs> it's a good new beginner's uh, tip right there for you. <laughs> I don't know about my parents. I know I have plans to come. I don't know about them. But I want to go out there once a year from now on. So we'll see. Here's a little piece of like those little puffy flowers that are on some of these. Okay. If you hear sounds, that's the trash people. <laughs> Picking up the trash. It's trash day. It's trash day. <clears throat> okay. So this one here. Oops. This is getting really long already. I'm gonna have to fix it right now because I do like to sew down the other sides too. This one's really thin. Texas hot until notified otherwise. <laughs> I don't mind the heat. It's the humidity that really gets me. 
because I'm from Las Vegas. It's hot right now. It's 100 degrees right now, but it's just that humidity. I'm not used to it, and I just can't. It just don't mesh well, you know. <laughs> and I didn't know that until I went to Texas. <laughs> I wasn't even aware. <laughs> Just like slapped me in the face. I was like, oh no, I don't like this. <laughs> and then I complained about it for a whole week straight. <laughs> you know everybody loved <laughs> I'm sure everybody loved it okay so bring that up up close real close real real close there and we'll finish it off with this one I just want to um sew the rest of this down <laughs> before it becomes unmanageable. Okay, so, hang on, let me put on my lace bits. <laughs> okay, I don't think they have a choice. Okay, so here's what we just made. Big, long piece here bunch of lace bits so get out all your lace scraps two strips at a time lay them down next to each other backed on fabric of course a strip of fabric get this funky little lace chain and now I'm gonna switch it to straight stitch And I put this on the longest length. And this is just going to feel like I'm sewing raffle tickets here. And I'm just using a straight stitch down one side. One side of the chain. Some pieces might get folded down. You can try your best to get them. This is a lot easier than sewing even the fabric, which is weird. I hit the camera. <laughs> Sewing machines are scary or funny. I don't think they are. Not anymore. I thought so for a while. I missed a couple of stitches right here because it got thinner. <laughs> I used to think they were scary, but not anymore. Not that I'm, I'm used to them now. They're scary when they don't work and I don't know how to fix them. That's when I'm like, oh. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> okay. So now we're doing the other side. Straighten that piece out. Aren't they fun? Okay. 
So, oops, I thought I was in shot. Sorry. <laughs> so that's it. That's what this strip is going to be looking like. I think it looks great, even with the fabric behind it. Even though you can't really see the fabric behind it. Um still looks really really nice i don't know if i could do this on paper i could try let's see if we could try and do this on paper because i will be gluing this to paper this would be a lot harder to do to glue fabric down so let me see if it works with paper because i haven't even tried that myself let me grab my paper where are my paper strips oh my gosh my desk is a mess hang on Paper strips, where do they end up? Where did they end up? Because that would be a lot easier to glue to the journal pages. Where are they? Hang on. Try. I'm trying to look. Oh, my room is a mess. <laughs> Where did they go? Let's see. No, this paper's too thin. I needed that one bag of paper that I left somewhere. <laughs> I think in theory you could do it on paper. In theory. But I can't find those gosh darn strips. Yeah, I don't know where they went. They just disappeared right now. They just disappeared. I'm still looking for them, but I just don't. I don't see them anywhere. How frustrating. Okay. But it works really good on lace like this. 25 pound craft paper bags. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I could sew this together. I'm just trying. I'm making. I'm just making stuff up now. <laughs> I want to combine these here somehow. Let's see. I think I could just do a zigzag. <clears throat> So they can be on a nice roll. I'm just backstitching. Is that how you're supposed to use backstitching? No, I don't even know. No, because it's stuck on here somewhere. <laughs> okay, I just I just joined these big old strips together. It's another one giant mega strip. Let's see. That is a nice size roll. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you what. But I still want to do this on paper. So let me, I think I want to make more paper strips. Because I want to see if it will work. I think it will. Okay, so that's a nice roll that I made today. <laughs> okay, one second. So, this book I really like because it's nice and thick. The pages are nice and thick anyways. Just cut up a bunch of strips. I can measure a few inch. So I'm cutting out one inch strips of this book paper because it's nice and strong. So if I could do this on book paper, that'll be like I said, it'll be a lot easier to glue that 
to uh, the pages, to the journal pages. And think about that. Okay. Should be enough to experiment on. So let's see. Hi, I'm Amelia. Welcome. Okay, so let's see if we can do this <clears throat> on paper. I don't see why it wouldn't work. But let's try it out. Of course, the orientation doesn't really matter. So we're going to use a zigzag on the biggest and widest settings. Okay. I think it does work. Yep, it's working. Yep, so it also works on paper. All right. I wish I had all those other strips I'd already made. <laughs> yeah, I think a room cleaning is in order. Definitely that. And then, of course, once you come to the end of that, you grab another piece of scrap paper. Good way to use up your book pages. <laughs> Very, very good way. Yep, I am loving it on the book paper. Actually, actually, I kind of love it. So I think that means I could also definitely sew fabric on here. And the contrasting blue thread looks kind of cute. It's kind of looking cute. I know living for it. Straw paper. I've never heard of straw paper. I don't even know what that is, girl. What is straw paper? I have to look that up. What is straw paper? And again, I'm just using two pieces of lace here. Lifting it up and putting in another piece of paper there. And I do pile on the, the new uh, little collage on top of the old one. Just slightly, or I mean to, sometimes it slides out. Okay, there we go. Okay, like that. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you guys, I lifted it and it all fell apart because the bobbin wasn't loaded the whole time. <laughs> I gotta laugh. I gotta laugh because it all literally just exploded. <laughs> Hang on, let me grab another bobbin or something. It literally went poof. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> 
Always check your bobbin. I don't know how they didn't all fall apart before. Only the first two. Oh my gosh. Only half of what I actually just sewed actually sewed. <laughs> oh man, I'm dying. Hi, Tammy. How are you, girl? Okay. We're uh, getting back on track. But so far, this is the lace collage on top of book paper. <coughs> Excuse me. I really dig the look. Actually, I really like it. The bobbin's going to be white. Whatever. Life goes on. Just can't believe it just all literally just went poof. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Let's try it again. How far away from the strip do I live? I live probably about twenty minutes away from this about twenty minutes away from the strip. Yeah. Twenty, I mean, if you're talking about like you know, parking and walking into the casino, maybe 30. <laughs> um, what is my favorite casino? My favorite casino. Oh, God, I, I really don't like any of them. <laughs> I really don't like any of them. <laughs> I'm not very, I'm not a casino person, honestly. Um not a casino person so sometimes there are reasons to go to casinos like maybe they have a movie theater or maybe um they have a really good buffet sometimes they have concerts i used to have to go to work at casinos but i myself don't actually go to casinos like ever <laughs> okay. i don't gamble and anything like that i don't um, my favorite restaurant, ooh, I, favorite restaurant that I can afford, <laughs> uh, is sushi, so I, I love sushi, I have a favorite sushi place out here, it's not in a, in a casino or anything, but, out here, it's called Bluefin, I love that sushi, it's so good, um, and, but my favorite restaurant that I can't afford, <laughs> That I did go to one time, and I think it's been my favorite restaurant that I cannot. Gordon Ramsay's Steakhouse is amazing. Gordon, anything Gordon Ramsay opens up is amazing. So, Gordon Ramsay's Steakhouse is amazing. I've eaten there one time. The steak is sixty dollars. So yeah, I went one time. <laughs> I've only gone once, but. So good. The best thing I've ever had. I'm telling you, like five years later, I'm still talking about it. I can still freaking taste it. It's <laughs> and uh Gordon Ramsay's burger joint is amazing too. So that's a $20 burger. I gotta go back. It's not the worst. $20 burger. Um, but and I'm telling you, anything Gordon Ramsay touches is pure gold. And I'm really spoiled out here because a lot of celebrity chefs do have restaurants. Um, so if I really had the coins like that or actually wanted to, I'm I'm not that uh, big on spending money. I'm really cheap, especially when it's things like that. But, you know, once you got to try it once. <laughs> Is he yelling in the kitchen? No, he's not. He wasn't there. But, because that, that boy's got like, I don't know, like 10,000 restaurants. But um, they messed up my burger. Like, they gave me the wrong one. And then the manager came out and she apologized. And I was like, man, I was like, get me Gordon on the phone right now. Like, <laughs> But the manager was really nice. And she like, even like, gave, she gave me the burger for free. <laughs> I didn't complain or anything. <laughs> the burger was awesome. I didn't complain or anything. She just, she comped the burger. I was like, hey. <laughs> That's what Gordon would have done. <laughs> yeah, I got the burger for free. <laughs> like I said, I didn't ask for it to be free or anything. <laughs> they just have really good customer service. Oh my God. Because the wait is so long. I had to wait. I remember on my birthday, I went like, I don't even know, like 
I think maybe like five years ago, I went for my birthday. And me and my parents and my husband, we must have waited for a good hour before we got seated. That place is packed. The burger place is packed to the brim with people. Um, the steakhouse, not so much. <laughs> but that burger place is packed with people. It's so good, though. It is really good. Their burgers are really, really good. But, yeah, I don't really go to the strip. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes, um, like, the, like I said, those restaurants are at casinos, and sometimes there's, like, certain stores that are only at casinos, um, but, and, yeah, like, uh, like, even, like, Buddy, you know, from Cake Boss, he has a, a restaurant out here, and he also has a dessert, like, a yeah, like, a, a pastry shop, and that's only at a casino. So things like that you have to go to casinos for. But I can generally live my whole life without going to a casino. <laughs> but they're about to, it's it's about 20 minutes away from my house. My husband worked at the Rio for uh, over 10 years. Um, and like I said, I used to go to casinos all the time because I used to work conventions. and Casinos host a lot of conventions. So I used to have to go there all the time. But I'll be honest, ever since that shooting happened at the Mandalay Bay, I can't go back to the Mandalay Bay. It just creeps me out. I just can't go back. It'll never be the same. Never, ever, ever for me. Really, really scary stuff happened that day, and I was very, very close, and <laughs> I'll just never go back to the Mandalay Bay ever, I don't think. I have no plans. It's too creepy. Yeah. Cake Boss is at the Venetian. I don't know if it's technically the Palazzo though. It might be technically the Palazzo. They're the same. They're the same casino. <clears throat> okay, so we're still putting things underneath here. Connecting these little collages here. Yeah, I mean, I drove by there because I wanted to to see. I drove by there probably like a week after it all happened. And um, it's just creepy because like knowing, like I wouldn't have, I it just, I would have not, there was nothing suspicious about the guy. Let me just say that right now. There was nothing suspicious about the guy and that's what creeps me out is that like, it's totally normal for people to bring up 10,000 bags up to the hotel room. I wouldn't have looked at them any differently. And so that creeps me out, and I just, ugh, I can't. I just can't. It's just too creepy. But I did want to drive by because they did have the, um, they still have that, the room boarded up the window. On the outside, and I wanted to see that for some. I'm a little morbid. I'm not gonna lie. I'm both morbid and squeamish, which is weird. It's a weird. It's, <laughs> it's a weird combo. <laughs> Selectively squeamish, maybe. Yeah, the guy looked really normal. Everybody looked. I mean, he like I said, he didn't act any any sort of weird way that I'm. When I worked there, I would have been like, hey, there's something wrong with this guy. Like, uh, there was no, there was just nothing, no sign of this guy being such a weirdo. And like I said, he did nothing illegal which, uh, without killing people. It was not, I don't think it was illegal for him to have firearms in his hotel room. I don't think any of that was illegal. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it still isn't. Which is another thing that's weird. Which I don't I just I just can't deal with it. 
I was like literally like two miles away from where it happened. That's where my mom lives. My mom lives like five minutes away from the strip. And uh, we were living with her at the time. Is that my foot? Hang on, my foot came off. I don't know how or why, but my foot just came off. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it is scary. And like I said, it's I don't think there's anything illegal about it. I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure you're still allowed. I mean, these. See, I worked a gun show where, you know, the convention is about guns. It, I don't think there's there was anything wrong with him doing that, which is what's wrong with it. <laughs> That's the part that creeps me out. I thought the gun show was creepy because I'm not a gun person. So seeing guns everywhere, that just scares me. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel liberated. It scares me. <laughs> That's just me. Everybody's different. Okay, so here's this. Everything else with the way that the ribbon is already pretty long here. It's already really long. But we still have time to fill. <laughs> Plus, this will be a lot of work that I don't have to do later on. Then I could just glue this down or even just sew on top of it. I'm not going to. Just to sew on top. Sew it onto the journal pages. That'd be okay. Okay. So, again, I've got a zigzag stitch. I don't know why, how, I don't know why my foot came off, but it did. I don't know. That's never happened before. But okay, let's do new things. Okay. And like, I just think it's creepy because like I, I used to, like I would never, it was at a country music event. Like I would never, I don't do country music, so I would have never been there. But I, I used to work uh, at a company's that used to, like, have, you know, me go over there and, like, check people's wristbands, like, make sure they got the wristband on to go into the event. So, I mean, I, you know, it could have, I, I might have worked there. I don't know. You know what I mean? Probably not because I don't like outdoors, but it's, it's possible. And that's what really creeps me out, I think. About the whole thing. I could have been there. Okay. Yeah, this is getting long. I'm going to have to fix it soon. Okay. So there's this. Yeah. And then, like, the weird, like, I knew there was something wrong. Because we got, me and my husband were at the gym. And we got out of the gym. And <clears throat> we were heading up, you know, towards the strip technically. Because that's where my mom lives. And there was just this car. Like, I remember seeing this car and he just like, I'm saying he. I don't know if it was actually a he. But I, I, there's this truck and it, it passed a red light. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, that car just passed the red light? Like, I guess. Like, that's what we're doing. But it was, like, frantic. Like, like I am in, in, in a hurry. And I need, I need to, I don't care about this light right now. Like, that's what it felt like. I was like, what is going on? That's weird. And then as we got closer to my mom's house, because, like I said, she lives close to the strip. As we got closer to her house... I started noticing uh, police going towards the strip. And we're just like, what is happening? Like, this is a lot of police. This is a lot of ambulances. What is happening? And then we got home. And when I looked at Facebook, that's when I found out.
is literally a st the Mandalay Bay is, the, is a stone throws away from my mom's house. Like I could see the Mandalay Bay outside of my mom's house. Have I been to Viva Las Vegas Stamps? Yeah, I have been to Viva Las Vegas Stamps. I have. Fun place, fun place. Stamps are really expensive, but they have like a cheap bin. Mm -hmm. But you definitely have to visit Viva Las Vegas Stamps at one point. Okay, so it works on paper too. I'm definitely going to do this on paper from now on. I have a lot of page, a lot of book pages to go through. Hi, Joyce. I have a lot of uh, pages of book paper to go through. And, of course, I have a lot of lace to go through. So I think this is a good combo. Sorry when my hairs was there. <laughs> so get out all of your lace bits, all of your little pieces, and get to work, ladies. This was actually a lot of fun, and I'm glad that I did this, too. I have so many of these now. What are we making today? We made this crazy paving ribbon, which is what I call it. I'm going to do a little bit more. I still have some energy. Yeah, the stiffness is nice, too. As you can see, this is the same technique, but one is on book paper and one is on um, just fabric. Same technique. I am going to make more. So let me get back to it. <laughs> I need to cut out more book pages since I can't find my bag of book paper. I am honestly really upset right now that I can't <laughs> find it. There's a whole bag of strips. Wait, is this it? Is this it? I might have found it. I don't know. Hang on. Hang on. Nope, these are just... There's not, the strips are not in here. <laughs> you know I didn't use up all my strips though, so what ha happened, huh? What ha happened? That's what I want to know. Okay, well I give up. I need to make some strips, so you guys got to have a little bit of patience with me here. <laughs> I need to make these strips now. Let me get my big cutter out. It's going to be a lot faster. Ugh. I'm literally still looking for those strips that I'm still looking for. <laughs> okay, I got my big cutter here. My big papa. Okay. This part off because that never helps anybody. So this is really, really strong paper here. Um, I wouldn't recommend you use thin book paper for this project. Definitely not because you're going to be sewing on it. And that's just not a good idea. It's just not. I guess one inch is here. This the thing is great, but it's kind of hard to see where one inch and then five and a half inch is also at a weird place. <laughs> so these are definitely not the same size, but hey, what are you going to do? Sue me, you guys. Just sue me. So. I, don't, I don't think it's an inch anymore. <laughs> Let's see if I can cut these ones. I don't know. Can I? Okay, good. Yay. Okay, let's get this, you guys. 
like I said, great way to use up all of your scrap paper, all of your scrapbook pages, because I have a lot of them. I don't know about you guys. I have way, way too many book pages just laying around everywhere. You have worn off the numbers on your cutter. Well, you could, if you have this one specifically, they have a really good warranty. You might be able to um, get your money back. Or they'll actually, they'll send you a new one online. They'll send you a new one if you have this specific cutter. <clears throat> Their warranty is really, really good. Let me get some water. I am thirsty. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that's plenty of strips already. Let me just finish cutting this up here. Again, I am cutting it at about, I don't even, I guess like an inch and a half almost. I think it looks like an inch. It's just that the number, number one, I don't know if it means down here. I mean, I guess, yeah, that is an inch. But I have been cutting it, I guess, like an inch and a quarter. I can't see that line. <laughs> okay. It's a smaller Fiskars. You could also try. You could always contact them. And, you know, call them up and just tell them, you know, tell me I love this cutter and it's the best cutter, blah, blah, blah. You know, smooch them a little bit. And then, you know, tell them about how you're upset that it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> That's what I would do. Because it's not a lie. <laughs> okay, so I have a bunch of strips already. Not not even that hard. That's what I do all the time with these companies. Like, I really love your stuff, but why doesn't this work? It's not working for me no more. Okay. So we are back to continue on. I'll sew these together later. I don't like working with them being too long. Okay, so if you're just joining me, this is what I am doing. Putting together a bunch of lace strips on top of book paper. And we'll use this as decoration for journal pages or like for edge decorations of something. Okay, so... I have a bunch of little scraps here of lace that I cut up really small. Different sizes, really. Okay, Sandra. <laughs> yeah, so you can use any color thread. I also like to use red. This teal would have been really cute. For now, we're just sticking with the blue. I always switch it up sometimes, so it's always good. Okay, so. We're going to start with the strip of paper here. Again, the paper is about an inch to an inch and a quarter. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. You put two little pieces of lace uh, on top of each other. And then on top of the book paper. And I am going to use a zigzag stitch. You could use a fancier stitch. Um, I guess we could. Let's do number... Let's see, what are we going to do? Let's do number 31. It's kind of a fun stitch. And I'm going to go ahead and make it as wide and as long as possible. Because I wanted to get a lot of the lace. You know, I don't want any pieces to be fading off. Once you're done sewing those two pieces... You want to get your other two pieces, and you I almost lay it on top of the other two pieces that I that I sewed together. And try and sew down the middle, but of course stuff happens, and that's not always possible. <laughs> it's not always possible, but you could try, you could try. Okay, let's do these two. And it doesn't really matter what order the lace is or even the colors, but it's kind of fun to get two different colored laces together. Okay. And now, okay, this piece unwraps. 
traveled a little bit. Okay. Get it together now. Get it together. Okay, so these two little pieces of lace right there. And now I'm going to grab another book page and put it underneath there. Make sure we have it all nice and sandwiched together before we sew it up. That kind of joins everything else together. So here's my next piece of lace. This is. Again, I kind of stack them on top of the last ones I put together. here and I could even probably put something else on top. Probably this right here. Now let me show you this before before we gather up the next um, piece of paper. So far this is what we have. And again, you could use fun stitches. You could use just a straight stitch. I went to get some variegated thread at Hobby Lobby, and it was $9.99. Oh, my God. I have seen them be that expensive. Maybe try eBay. Probably eBay. You'd have to wait for it for a while, probably from China. I have a couple rolls myself that somebody gifted me. I still have yet to use them. I gotta use them. I have gold metallic thread. I just have to look up how to use it with this machine. I heard something about like using it as a bobbin. I don't know. I can't remember what they said. Okay. And of course the pieces of lace don't have to be straight, they don't have to be perfect squares or anything. Nothing like that. Yeah, coupons are your best friend. Sometimes I think they make things that expensive because of their coupons. That's the, that's the, the what's it called, the theory out there, the conspiracy. <laughs> that's the conspiracy theory people are talking about. Okay, so two more pieces of lace. Yep. Now, like I said, I like to split mine into manageable pieces. Um, you could make a 50 foot <laughs> long uh, roll of this if you wanted to. You could also do like me and join them later. It's kind of hard to work with that big roll. 
So I need to cut it down into little pieces. That's just what I do. It works for me. This is a lot of fun to make. You don't have to think about it a lot. You know, I hate you guys know me. I prefer projects where I don't have to think a lot, you know, because that's a lot easier on my noggin. Fun little projects that are fun. You could plan them out in specific color themes, or you could just go with it and cut up everything that you got. <laughs> just cut it all up. It's up to you. Ooh, I could see like you could do all white and black, maybe some yellow with some like orange thread and make it Halloween themed. I don't know. Just throwing ideas out there. <laughs> just throwing ideas out there. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, let me see. I feel like I have to cut up more lace. I feel, but I know I have more. I still have lots of lace here in front of me. my back though I have I don't know why I lost my back brace I've been losing everything you guys I don't know what's wrong with you. there's something wrong with me I've been losing everything <laughs> can't find nothing I gotta clean Okay. It is getting hot, you guys. I had to move my plants. <laughs> I noticed my plants were getting sunburnt, and I'm like, oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. So now, <laughs> I am such a, like, plant mother right now like i have to um <laughs> i've been moving my plants after in the in the afternoon i move them because <laughs> the sun is too much for them so i have to move them over it is not sewing this on okay okay let's see we already got this long snippet here. I think I like this way better on book paper than on fabric. Because again, it'll be a lot easier to actually attach. What kind of back brace do you have? It's just one of those like lower lumbar support back braces, you know? I used to work at a medical supply store back in the days. And uh, I got one from there. I don't know if I got it while I was working there or afterwards. I can't remember. But it really helps and I can't <laughs> find it. So it's, it's been a little hard for me and a little uncomfortable for me to be at my desk. <laughs> Which sucks because who wants? I want to be comfortable at my desk. I sat on this chair at Ikea, you guys, though. <laughs> this chair in Ikea is like $250. But when I sat in it, it literally felt like I had my back brace on. Like it had so much support. And I, it's just, I have this problem because I'm so short, you guys, that like, <laughs> that like regular desk chair, I don't know. Regular desk chairs are like adult. They're meant for adults and I'm more like child size, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm just really short. And I feel like all these other desk chairs kind of swallow me like there's a good four inches between where my back physically is normally and where the back of the chair is what if you sewed flowers on the lace do i have flowers 
Um, I don't think I have any flowers. <sighs> but you know what I do have? Let me see. I have this. Let me see. Let me finish with this little roll. With this little piece. And then I'm going to see. Because I do have uh, like little appliques. Now that I look at my stuff, I have a little appliques that would look adorable. I'm going to get them out right now. Just let me finish with this here. This is a little wide, but okay. I think we can work with it. Okay, we're almost done. Okay. So let me move all these little lace pieces out the way because they kind of they get all over the place. <laughs> They're almost like glitter. Okay. So I have this like little bag. Or like, yeah, you could definitely do that. I just don't have any. But I do have these little flower appliques that maybe I could, let's see, <laughs> that would be cute, let's see, uh, let me just use a zigzag, I think, maybe a really wide one. I'm going to backstitch it. Let's see. Yeah, that, that looks kind of cute with that little applique there. And I could do it every so often. Okay, let's see right here. Here would be pretty cute. I'll just do another thing here in the middle. And then every time I switch this paper, so that way it's kind of spaced out a little evenly. quite a lot of them and I didn't I didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> Just trying to like keep tabs on where the next one the next page changes changes. <laughs> Thank you for the idea. Okay, that is a great video. Definitely. Let me see. <clears throat> yep, they look great. Just every so often, get a little crochet flower there. Looking fabulous. Yes, I love it. I love it. This roll just got fatter and fatter. <laughs> it's just getting bigger and bigger. Now let's join it together with this one over here. 
put a little flower on it just to make it special. So now it looks like I have this very, very long roll here. Again, you can make one very, very roll, long roll, but I prefer to make a couple rolls and then you can join them together. Because it just makes it a little bit more manageable. Oh, I forgot to do the straight stitches. Oops. <laughs> I joined them together too soon. Okay, so let's do the straight stitch. You definitely don't have to do this. I just like to. I do basically a straight stitch on both sides of the of the decorative stitch in the middle. And make sure I have bobbin because that last time was a Oops, got out of shot. Sorry. <laughs> that looks good. Now let me do the other side. Oh my goodness. I should have done this before I joined them. <laughs> the things, the things that happen. I did it the right way. So I am just rolling this up here. I want to see how big my little roll is. I didn't do it tight enough, but that's okay. That is a nice, nice roll there. And I'm almost actually out of these lace scraps. You guys get the general idea of how to make them. This was a ton of fun, though. And you could definitely do different uh, decorative stitches there that you like. But I think I'm going to keep going. I don't know about you guys. If you guys <laughs> want to keep going along with me. Let me go get into some shorts, though, because I'm a little hot. So I'm going to take a one-second break. <laughs> Okay, summer is here, you guys. The heat has arrived. <laughs> okay. So we're back. Let's do another roll. Yep. Yeah, definitely, uh, Joyce. Um, let me... Do I have some more thread? Let me see what other thread I have. I've been wanting to switch things up. Um, oh, this is pretty. This is the color. Let me see if I can find the thread. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to use this purple. It's almost like a Barney purple, if you guys are familiar with Barney. I don't know if he's even on TV anymore. I don't know what kids these days watch. These kids these days watch. I used to watch Barney, and this is Barney purple as far as I'm concerned. 
as far as this millennial is concerned. Okay. Let me load up my sewing machine here. Here. Okay. Still got my bottom here with white thread. Um, we'll just keep it that way for now. The bottom uh, bobbin doesn't really matter in this case anyways. You won't be able to see it once I glue it all down. So whatever. I could have actually used my turquoise thread now I think about it. <laughs> come on, come on. It's being shy. Okay, here we go. Now we're all loaded up. So let's keep this going. This is fun, you guys. Ugh. Um, actually that it was gifted to me by uh Crafty Irina. She heard that uh I was <laughs> talking about how thread was so expensive. And she was gracious enough to send me a whole case of thread, basically. I gotta ask her where she bought it from so I could buy it. A uh, whole pack of it. It looks amazing. It's just a bunch of thread colors. A bunch of colors. Um, yeah, I can't even... This is like five times what I normally buy. <laughs> so I don't know how much it is, but I gotta get some more myself. Okay. So, I still have little bits of lace. I'm probably gonna have to get more because this is all I have left. What I had before was like twice as big. So that is great already. But here we go. Why do you not use a needle threader? I know. <laughs> I drive uh, April crazy with that. I just, I don't know. I find it easier just to do it myself. I don't know. I know it's probably not easier. I just, I just don't want to. <laughs> um, let's do number... 50. I like 50. 50 is pretty cool. We're going to make it just like the widest thing we could possibly do. Oh, this thread looks so pretty. And then it broke on April's that the automatic threader broke on hers. <laughs> so that, that sucks. Okay, so the next one we're going to do. This one's a bit too long. Yeah, I... She's trying to explain it to me. I don't know. It's the same way I am with uh, with lighters. I'm so weird with the lighter. I have to use the one with the little button that you just push down. The whole flick thing I, with the little wheel. I can't do it. I don't know why. I just can't. I'm not normal. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I learn a different way. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so special. <laughs> Purple here. Right here. It's going a little crooked for my taste. I don't know why it is, but it is. Let's get it back on track. This thread looks amazing, though. Like, really amazing. Like, I'm shocked. I'm shook. Okay. Looks so cute. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. A little bit 
I'm trying to show you. But it looks so cute with that thread. I think I'm gonna have to get out. I'm gonna have to cut out more pieces of lace, you guys, because I feel like I just have the same pieces of lace over and over, over and over again. really long but so is this one so they can go together okay, okay. all right oh i love this thread though oh my goodness because there's some purple in here actually i had noticed there's purple in here, and so it looks just so cute with this thread. I'm dying. Okay. Let's see. Let me show you what I mean. Right here. Does that not look fabulous? You see that purple right there? A little bit more purple right there. This stitch is adorable. The thread is great. Great contrast. It looks so pastel, so girly. I love it. This tell me this this looks like it's ready for Halloween, you guys. I love it. Definitely like a little Halloweeny. I don't know why. I'm feeling a little Halloweeny. Feeling a little festive. You could definitely make these for any theme. You know what I mean? Like just change the thread color and it could be Christmas themed so quickly. So I'm really loving this technique. I'm really feeling the fantasy over here, you guys. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Sorry, I listen. I watch too many drag queens on YouTube. Okay, so that looks good right there. Okay, care. I had to show it. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so super easy to switch to another piece of paper when you're done with that. Uh huh. Just trying to put other pieces here together, but I am running out of these lace pieces. My cat is so weird. It's nice and fresh in this room, but he wants to go and um, sleep in the living room where the AC is not even on and it's all hot in there. And he loves it. <laughs> he loves it. It's just so easy to get off center, though. Here. I'm definitely going to have to cut up more lace pieces. Definitely make them a little bit bigger this time. Okay. 
You haven't heard my cat in a long time. Yeah, he's just been sleeping. He's just been such a little sleepy cat lately. <laughs> this looks so good in purple. I can't even get over it. I'm going to do the straight stitch on it now just because I want to see it. I want to see it come to life right here. All right. Forgot to make it long. Okay, I am loving it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yes, I freaking love it. I don't know why, Joyce, it won't let you add your email. Sorry about that. I allowed the comment like two times and then it blocked it. I don't know why. So this looks really good, you guys. I still have, I have to cut up more lace, though. So I want to continue on because it's just not enough lace here. <laughs> So this has been a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to continue on with this, I think. Let me cut up some more lace. One moment. I don't know. This might be a long live just because I still feel like going. <laughs> I had lunch right before and um, yeah, I feel like I could still do more. Okay. So, um... Where's my lace bag? Here it is. And then I was using um, this cutter to do it. See, that's fabric. Okay, this little lace pieces could work. Right, somebody said I do it away from my fingers. <laughs> I just remembered that. Okay, so there's this piece right here. Ooh, more of this pink lace. I have been wanting to get rid of this uh, bag of scraps for the longest time. <laughs> so, oh, this is that, that uh, fluffy uh, green thing that I was trying to tell you. They're just like these flowers here in a row. And first I cut them down the middle, like that. And then I cut them like this. So that they were like little pieces, you can see here. Little tiny pieces like that, break them up. That's good. Just gives it an interesting texture. Here's some more of that blue lace. And here's some more. Sometimes this lace comes with this little frilly line here that makes it a ruffle. So sometimes I like to cut that part off. And once you do that, then you just have yourself regular lace. So that's what I like to do. Mm. There's some of this messed up lace. This, this is really, I don't know what's wrong with this lace. <laughs> it's just all sorts of messed up. Oh, right. We still have this kind of like fuchsia. I know I dyed this. I remember dyeing this lace myself. So I am so happy I found a project that I can use up all these scraps. Because, oh my God, I need it. <laughs> Got this like fuzzy ribbon. Super 
super cute, actually. And it's all getting all bunched up into this little bar right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so cutting up some more of it. Again, the lady said, the comment she said, I can't remember what she said. Somebody was nice enough to give me some tips because they knew your girl needed it. <laughs> they knew your girl was in trouble. <laughs> This is a little piece of blue. And I just stumble upon these little pieces of lace sometimes. I'll just even them out a little bit. Cut them in half. Here's some like mesh material. It's really cute. So now I have a nice even little pile here that'll complement this little pile right there. But let me see what else I got. I do have this right here. It's really thin. Lace. It's adorable. I love it. So let's just cut this into different size pieces. Some of them can be tall or longer, I should say. Oops. Some of them can be taller, longer. that something like that okay oh here's this nice blue piece and here's some gold i've never i don't think i've ever used this have i i don't think so why not now why not start today okay okay oh here's this one there's a lot of good stuff in this bag. It's just they're all just little pieces <laughs> of it, which is a bummer. A true bummer. I'm going to miss this lace. I'm going to miss you. Okay, so et cetera, et cetera, like that. Just cut up your little pieces of lace. You could use scissors, but... This is definitely faster. I just got this um, last week when I wanted to start making these. <laughs> and I saw that it was much easier <laughs> than scissors. <laughs> okay. And then of course I got this mat too. I had to get the mat. Oh, let me cut up this yellow flower. Same thing. It's one of those yellow flowers though this time. So I can also have it in black. Oh, 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 oh. I have this cute ribbon here. It says love. I don't ever use it ever. Let me use it now. It'd be kind of cute in this pile. Let's see. Cut it up, little pieces, longer pieces, shorter pieces. Okay, and then we're going to cut up this yellow flower here. I have a ton of ribbon that I'm going to make salad. <laughs> you are too much, girl. <laughs> I'll make you a little lace salad, girl. Do you? Do you? <laughs> okay, little piece of this. Oh, that leaves fluff everywhere. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, we're done after this one. <laughs> Okay, so we got all this nice bits and bobs here. Okay. That is, so this bag was full and like overly stuffed. Now I'm using it all up. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. okay so let me get all this, let me get this put away, of course. Okay. Okay, okay, you guys. Okay, 
okay, I want to keep playing, but I also want to go get some ice cream. Is that bad? <laughs> I have the ice cream outside in the fridge. <laughs> okay, so let's keep this going here. I guess we'll add that. I will add it later to the other one that we made. And let's get this started. We'll use this love and then this other little piece of lace here. And then maybe even this other little piece of lace here. Right here. Okay, and we're still using stitch number 50. <laughs> I know, I'm the worst. I'm the worst person in the world, I know. <laughs> okay. This piece of paper, I think, is wider than the other ones or something. It's pretty wide. I'm a nurse. Okay, okay. So let's see. Do these two pieces together because why not? That big fluffy piece is adorable. Okay, we'll do these two. Do this one. Very Easter like. <laughs> All right, I gotta go get some ice cream. Mm -hmm. I need a little pick me up here. Pick me up. Okay, so this one here. And I didn't need to do my nails. Ugh, you guys. Ugh. <laughs> it's been a rough, it's been a rough weekend, okay? I'm just kidding. I forgot to buy a nail polish remover. <laughs> that's the T. That's the that's the truth. I forgot to buy a nail polish remover. <laughs> Bye, Joyce. All right, all right. Let me be right back. I gotta go grab my ice cream from the fridge. <laughs> Oh my god, why? <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Blue Bunny, Bunny Tracks Ice Cream. <laughs> they should pay me for sure, though. Okay. Okay, okay, I feel better already. <laughs> I feel better already. Much refreshed, much refreshment. <laughs> Let's keep this going. Mm -hmm. I had to, you guys. I had to. Oh man, I'm close on this one. make it fit. Okay, let's see. Okay, so now we get the next one going. Let's see. Oh, this, this would be interesting mix here. No, it won't be. It will not be interesting. Okay, let's do this instead. I 
could see how this could be all sorts of different themes just by the different lace that you use and the different thread that you use. Mm-hmm. I could see this getting like Christmas, you know what I mean? Use Christmas colors or just like all white and, you know, Christmas colors. And use like a green thread or a red thread. You got Christmas ribbon right there. Right there, just like that. Hi, Robin. Do you add more to the top and cut into pieces or snippets? Um, you could. Hmm. On the original one, I did put on top. But it's because I left too many gaps in between and I didn't see it till later. This will go over here. Okay, here we go. Trying to hold these two together here. Okay, okay. Another piece of paper. Bobbin is still good. It's still good. I still have ice cream. We're good. <laughs> we are good. I right, put my plants away from the sun because apparently it's too much for them. <laughs> Snippet rolls are awesome. Yes, they are. Especially when they're on paper, you know, and you can put them on, on your journals. A little bit easier than if they were on lace. I mean, on fabric. For me, anyways, I figured. I figured it'd be a little bit easier. Now I'm like I'm excited to make a Christmas one. That sounds fun. Okay, okay. So the yellow is pretty. Man, ice cream makes everything better, you guys. Sure. <laughs> Hi, Irina. Hello, pretty lady. Ooh, is that the last paper strip? Really? Wow. I'm shook right now. This is the last paper strip. I am shook it. Shook the house. Okay. Let's see. Let's do that. It's too really pretty. Right? We all have a million of these book pages, girl. <laughs> we all do. I think we're all uh, guilty of that one. No, I am for sure. That was not straight. Okay. Okay, that happens, I guess. Okay. Let's do this right here. 
Yes, ice cream is too good. It's too good. I can't stop. <laughs> mm, it's got peanut butter and chocolate. Mm, it's too good. Too, too good. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Always add this little ribbon. Just a little bit of ribbon. Okay, I ran out of paper strips, but let me just go ahead and join these two that I just made. Put all this lace away, it's too much lace. Oh, I didn't run out of paper strips. What am I saying? <laughs> okay, never mind. The fun continues. Okay. Okay, okay. Never mind, the fun continues. <laughs> At least for a little bit longer. I don't know. I don't know when I'll be done going live. This is kind of fun. This is kind of fun, you guys. And I'm like using up all my scraps. That's the most exciting part, honestly. <laughs> I'm using up all these little scraps that I never thought I would use up ever. I'm actually using them up. This closed here. This one's a little thinner, but that's okay. We can still work with it. All right, here's another one of these. Like that. Definitely don't have to be neat, so don't worry about trying to be neat, you guys. Just don't even. It's not fun when you try and be neat with these kind of projects. <laughs> He'll be there all day, girl. He'll be there all day. Right, I haven't used this. I Why not? I don't know. I don't know. But let's do that right now. Let's see. Use it up. You just heard the ice cream truck? Nice. <laughs> nice. So, let's do this and this. Okay. I'm really loving it with this thread. Uh, Why not? Absolutely not. Okay. 
Oof. It's hard to keep straight, but we're going to do it. Right there. Okay, so let's get this other piece right here. There we go. I just do two pieces. Just been doing two pieces. Hi, Paula. Welcome. So hard to keep together. And this this stitch keeps going off to the side. I don't think it's me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just a stitch. Okay. I just found the live. This is a lot of fun. You need to try this project, girl. This is too much fun. It's even hard for me to want to stop because it's like so easy. And I look, look at this. You already feel so productive. <laughs> like I feel super productive right now. And it's just, a, you know, it's a great feeling. <laughs> it's a great feeling. This little fluffy one under here. And it's going a little crooked. Let's get Get it in the middle again. Okay. I think it's going to have to be time for me to join them together. And move on to the next strip. Because again, I don't like to work on them being so long. It's just too much of a bother. So now, okay, so now let me put all these little bits of lace away because it just drives me crazy when everything's in my way, especially when it's little things like this. It just, and then I need to get the sewing machine a little closer. Yeah, it's, they need to go. They need to just go in their little bag, live their best little life. Okay, okay. Okay, so I got this nice long strip here. Let me show you what I got. I love the addition of these little yellow pieces. Everything looks great. I love the color thread with the, the colors and, and all these lace bits. Really stands out. Yeah, that would be cool too. Black and white, yeah. I can see that happening. Okay, so now I'm going to use a straight stitch and stitch down the side here, down the side of the stitch that I made, just to kind of flatten out all these little fluffy pieces that might come off like that. So let's get a straight stitch here. And you choose the longest length. Here we go. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the stitch. Oop, it 
kind of grabbed onto me. My uh, chair. <laughs> Okay, so that is how we do it, and then I'm going to put these together here. So, these are the same colored threads, so I want to put them together. And I'm just going to use, again, just a straight stitch. Back stitch it. Kind of silly, but I did backstitch it. <laughs> you guys know I never backstitch anything. <laughs> backstitch it again. So I do want to have a nice long strip. It's just a little harder to work with. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. That was a long, long strip here that we made. <laughs> I love the fuchsia color, though. The fuchsia color is just so pretty. With whatever you throw on top of it, it kind of blends it in. It's really weird. It just goes together with whatever you put on top of it. Like you see that yellow? Like, I wouldn't think that that looked good. That looks so good with that yellow, you guys. Yes. Like I said, you could totally make these different themes. Like if you wanted to do, um, like I said, Christmas theme, change up your thread, change up the color of lace bits that you use. This was a lot of fun, you guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me um, and for doing this little project here with me. I really appreciate it. I will probably be making more of these for sure because this is just so much fun and this is me after two hours it's not a lot but it is a lot at the same time so you guys have a good night and i will see you guys here tomorrow at 1 p.m pacific standard time uh we'll try out something else crafty and junk journal related so again if that's what you're into do hit that subscribe button and that like button let me know that you guys like this video that you guys like this technique Try it out and uh, post on our Junk Journal Facebook group if you guys like the technique. I want to see what your uh, interpretation uh, is of it, what you guys come up with. Again, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you to Crafty Arena, of course. Thank you to Lori, to Care, to Llewellyn, um, to Paula, Patricia, of course. Uh, Lori, Care, let me see what else, who else, who else, who else? Uh, Robin. Uh, thank you to Kathy. Thank you to Sandra, to Joyce. Thank you, everybody, so, so much for joining me. I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Have a good day. Peace out, you guys. Bye.